Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Skippy Tesla, and welcome to episode two of Resident Evil Dead Aim, the progressive rock free aim, whatever this is, Resident Evil Gun Survivor 4, Heroes Never Die, whatever you want to call it. Welcome. <laughs> I actually like the game a lot, way more than I expected, but the trick is I'm playing it with, uh, with the USB mouse and the controller instead of, you know, two analog sticks, so it's just one stick, two buttons, and mouse with two clicks actually makes the game so much easier so yeah and it's the only Resident Evil game I know that has like fucking two demos let's say it's a demo <laughs> how the game's played but it's got you can tell it was made in the first half of the 2000s so how's everyone doing that hello Terra hello Gamut hello Lupka apologies for being late tonight we had a shit ton of stuff. Among them a minor earthquake. Lupka, did you feel the earthquake? I see no one from the family is like of all 20 of us <laughs> is saying anything. So I, they say that it reached Belgrade around that's where the where it was still felt. But uh, yeah, I was uh, I was in the hair salon at the time and it was just like it felt my chair going like why the fuck is the guy just shaking my hair? What should I do? Oh, my hair? <laughs> my chair. <laughs> Some hairs. And uh I was like, what the hell is going on? But then Sasha noticed the, the, the chandelier above us was doing like, ooh, really swinging. So it was it was no joke. I hear it hit the Romania. I heard from my Romanian colleague. He says everything's okay. So it doesn't seem to be anything big. But man, sore in, just sore in out of sleep. Come on, kitty. Let's not, come on. You give me the keyboard. You just give me the mouse and everything else is yours. How we do? Load game? Oh, it automatically goes to load. Click. I can click on PlayStation 2. Yeah. <laughs> back at home. Welcome back, Comrade Gamut. Welcome back. We kept we kept Twitch warm for you. <laughs> how how was your uh, honey trip? <laughs> how was your honey trip? Yeah, <laughs> the barber was wielding scissors when it was happening it was shaking and the guy was <laughs> walking around me with scissors so yeah normally this late i just finished i literally was still working while you were still listening to the music on the stream so uh, i had to i had to finish that and normally i wouldn't i would cancel the stream but i feel like i've canceled two streams two weeks ago and uh that's one thing other thing is i really want to get on with this game it was really uh, fun let's say fun well didn't i go oh that's the loading screen establishing a kingdom oh yeah we're not using the keyboard it's so weird holding a mouse and then holding a controller in the other hand like <laughs> yeah i still don't get it there's a perfectly fine keyboard there what's wrong with that but i guess we're doing that terra rest i said i know what it's like because I, I really know what it's like it, i had one wisdom tooth so bad they couldn't even Put an aesthetic to it so <laughs> i had to endure a live operation while well, two guys one guy holding me the other one cutting my skull open not pleasant so you know i had i gotta tell you from experience just rest whatever happens it's not important right now what's important is you rest and heal because that's that's a big shock for the for the for the organism it had ups and downs but overall really good and unforgettable that's great that's that's yeah Trips tend to have up and ups and downs. No trip ever I heard was just like up. There would probably be one boring trip, even though it's all all up. But yeah, I hope the downs were low and the ups were high. Is that what I'm trying to say? Downs were not catastrophic and ups were ecstatic. That's what I want to say. And you had a wonderful time. Lots of amazing things. I feel bad as I had to cancel. Yeah, of course you had to cancel your streams to the heal. Like, what are you, me? Like, <laughs> no, don't do that. Yeah, straight from working mouse to gaming mouse. That's right, sister. That's totally right. 25 or 26 hours, yeah. So after that one without anesthetics, the next one I had, because once they... I thought, oh, I have no wisdom teeth. Then one day, oh... This is a weird feeling I have here. Give me some more french fries. And by the evening, I was like, oh, something's not right with my mouth. But uh, I went to my doctor and she was like, oh, you might have, like, what well, she said, something like jaw cancer. I was like, really? <laughs> uh, let's go check that. 
but then it turned out it was just <laughs> it was just a wisdom tooth so yeah the first one was shit the second one was with anesthetics even with anesthetics rest rest it's all rest r-e-s-t did i spell that right yes i did rest 25 or 26 hours yeah still 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 young Oh, congrats, Gamut. Congrats. Wait, wait. Ow. Oh, damn. I was so hasty. I almost tore, tore the house down. You can go. Congrats, my friend. Congratulations. <laughs> That's very good news. And you got coronavirus. Well, you got to have some mild symptoms and recovering. Okay. That's good. I also believe because you're in the health profession that uh, you know what you're doing and you know when to seek help help so you know i'm hoping everything's okay and you're gonna be good my friend i was not put to sleep no no <laughs> well you're used to dark humor with but we don't do that until you're like way worse there <laughs> i think i think what Tara means to say is uh like full-on anesthetics yeah the i didn't know they used the, those for tooth like over here they just like jab you with anesthetics they're like is your jaw numb you're like oh like, yeah it's time to operate so yeah <laughs> no gamut gamut was like uh, so happy said for you sasha gamut was uh like sasha and myself i, I i've never said it here but there again ga gammy i gotta say it because of gammy but yeah did i say it i don't know Quarantined myself for a couple of days in my cabin. In your cabin! <laughs> the cough was really bad, but you got over it quickly. Good. Everyone on the ship. Yep, we were talking about ships just before that. And I was talking, you weren't there last week, I think? Yeah, that was last week. When I was doing... No, kitty, don't slap. When I was doing the Resident Evil Gaiden, and now Resident Evil Dead Aim, like, what the fuck is up with the ships? And I get it. A ship is very easy to cause an outbreak of anything. But, man, enough. So I think you had your own... <laughs> You had your own Gaiden. Great Gamut's Gaiden. Emergence. I didn't? Oh, it was. Well, yeah. Mrs. Hippie and uh, Mr. Hippie are now Mrs. Hippie and Mr. Hippie. As of three months ago, a lot happened. It was a really, really crazy period. But yeah, I was thinking about it. The Gamut said as well. He's been with Mrs. Gamut for a long time, but they, they never actually... Uh, like... People say, well, did you get married? Yes, it did. I've been living with my wife for 10 years. But, you know, it's ne not on paper. So, you know, you just did it on paper. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, see, Gamut said it. Gamut said it there. Oh, Gavin, I don't know if you're saying to Gamut or me, but thanks for both of us. <laughs> uh... Gavin, good to see you, Gavin. Gavin's always there, silently, <laughs> silently lurking from the behind. <laughs> My stepdad said I almost passed out in front of him yesterday when I was trying to get broth to drink. Oh, gee, yep. It'd be like that. So, yeah, like I said, rest, rest. For Terra today, just rest. I'll do my crazy eyes if you don't go to rest. <laughs> You've never seen my crazy eyes before here. <laughs> Gavin, man, how are you? What's up? Good morning. It's morning-ish. It's 11 almost there, but yeah. Mrs. Gamut has coronavirus too now. Oh, you're already sharing things. <laughs> you exchanged something... <laughs> oh my man oh that's great we love you too Gavin I speak for plenty of people here been in bed since I got home good that's what you need to be doing alrighty good to hear Gavin that's really good news kitty what's your issue because I'm talking loud is that it she's like I'm just talking to people here. What? Is, what's up? No. That's your hair. That's your fault, your hair. I got nothing to do with that. I'm just I'm just taking it here. After my whole long day, you've been sleeping, and now you got complaints. Why don't you work, and I'll lay down all day, huh? 
She wouldn't like that. She wouldn't really like that. <laughs> All right, let's get into this game. I'm still here, but uh, of course. Oh, you cats are really good. Sometimes better than uh, than some actually pa paid nurses, unfortunately. <laughs> but they're good for what they're doing. All right, first things first, on the PlayStation 2, if your controller is not quite new, spin the sticks. Why? Because when you spin these sticks, like you do a full circle with one stick, you do a full circle with the other stick, you actually calibrate them, believe it or not. So on Nintendo consoles, at least on N64 and GameCube, we got our mouse working, yep. So, uh... And the sticks work right <laughs> like if you if you do it with the mouse so if you do this you leave the cursor somewhere i was trying to explain that yesterday but reviewing my own recording it didn't come out the way i wanted so if you now switch try to aim with the controller look at that cursor it can go up and down but it can never go left or right so it's stuck there <laughs> which is kind of weird i guess they thought if you're playing with the mouse you're playing with the mouse but yeah, that's what I was trying to explain yesterday. So if you're if you did one, if you leave it here like it would be in the middle, then you use that with the controller to aim. Now I'm using the controller, right? You can you can spin the camera and you can go up and down without spinning camera because in this game you can't look up up and down. But if I'm using the mouse, wait, I got to get out, click, get into mouse mode. Now you can turn this, but you turn you turn turning and aiming is now separate. No, don't don't move. What was it? Click, hold. Yeah. And now you can move in first person, which is much easier this way than with... There's still, I wish there was, like, any keyboard controls, but we'll live. I did save here yesterday, did I? Yeah, I did. That was me. Nobody else played it. All right. So what are we doing again? I, got, I can have five controllers, but if I don't remember what I was doing, I have no idea what I was doing. Damn, it's 8 p.m. I would be streaming for two hours already, normally. Zombies. Okay, I, I can take those. I got a mouse. He's down, I guess. It's turning towards zombies on its own. I mean, not turning. This guy looks like he's from Code Veronica. Critical. All right, anyone else wants to tango with my mouse controls? That guy? What? That guy? He's not a threat. Look how far he is. He's down, boy. Well, he's gonna be up again. But, I want that. Herbal medicine. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, with the mouse, they're just too easy. Sometimes they don't happen, but... Is he dead? Is that it? Cockshot. That always wakes them up. Down, boy. I think he's he's dead, dead now. He's dead for good. Burp, 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 burp. So this is my first playthrough, as the tag down there says. First time I'm playing this game, and you know, both Gaiden and this, both. So I played Revelations last year for the first time. Well, my third attempt at playing Revelations for the first time, and I finished it, and I was very disappointed with that game. It's it's stupid in ways I can't even explain. Is it unlocked now? Press the button. Yeah. Hope no hunters wait for me. But... I don't like the game. It's dumb in so many ways. Revelations 1. Revelations 2 I liked a lot. A little because of Alex Wesker... Played by Mary Elizabeth McQuinn. Oh, look where I ended up. You know, the Sand Hill... Uh, the Sand Hill vocalist lady. She's got a phenomenal voice. And her being Alex Wesker was amazing. It will also help that I played it in co-op with Sasha. But man, <laughs> Revelations 1. Don't get me started. Sounds... That sound like the alarm. I thought I heard it downstairs. <laughs> yeah, these. So remember when I played Gaiden, Lupka, and you and Sasha said you it's you hear it too uh, too loud over me because these simple eight bit sounds like eight bit any beeps, no matter how much 
Is that where I want to go? No matter how quieter they are, they're always actually louder. Well, they're not. They're just how we perceive them. They're how we perceive sound. Yes. Yeah, that's Alex Wesker. She's Mary Elizabeth. Well, I mean, she's voiced by Mary Elizabeth. No, I did play Resident Evil Resistance before uh, Revelations 2. So I didn't know any. I, you know, I was like, who the fuck is Alex Wesker? You just made her up for Resistance. Apparently she existed before this. And... Ah. Wait, what? Really? It was open earlier, wasn't it? Oh, someone closed the door. From the other side... But yeah, she's Alex Wesker and perfect. So it really shows that woman has... Oh, one, well, somebody fucked up my doors. That woman has an amazing vo voice. But it doesn't mean anything if, you know, the track is not... If if the role is not for her. So, so in the Sun Hill 2 HD collection... We, uh, we, if you're new, that's normal. When we speak of Sun Hill HD collection, you have to gag. That's just a rule. Um... They made her be Mary, even though they made her. <laughs> she was cast as Mary, even though she protested, because her voice is not really for that. But then, you hear her as uh, you hear her in this game, in this game, in uh, as Alex Wesker. It's like it fits so well. Oh, I'll be right back. Didn't expect that. Let's see what else is there. I think that's where I need to go, where the door is. Let's check the maps. So start. Left, right, click, and up and down. That's all I have. Uh, map. Let's start from the top. This is where the intro was, where they fought. So, Feng Ling, by the way, why I was laughing yesterday, the way they say it. They say, so should I lock? Close? Okay. They say, they say Feng Ling, like it's one, well, the subtitles say Feng Ling, like it's one word. And it just makes me laugh because it's a name. <laughs> it's a full name. You can't just say, I don't know, John Adams. <laughs> You gotta say name, first name and last name separately. But yeah, that's she was on the bridge throwing grenade at the heliport where they were duking it out. And then our guy went down the stairs and ended up... Now this is me trying to piece this story together. Shit. Don't press back. Gotta press confirm, otherwise it brings you back. Then our guy ended up in... Um, where did I end up? I ended up somewhere here. Ha, huh, near the guest rooms. That's right, I was near the guest rooms. In fact, I was in one of those hallways that connect to the guest rooms. And that's where it all started. Okay. Okay, I can get... I can find my way around here. So right now, I guess I want to go to that closed door. Maybe I want to unlock the other door. Who knows? I'm my own boss in this game. No one can tell me what to do. Start. Start. You never played it too, Gamut. Yeah, there you go. That makes two of us. Well, <laughs> I kind of I kind of ruined it now. Hello, Mayo. You can hear the groans of zombies coming from beyond the door. You better not... Like, how the fuck? We, that's the... Yeah, I was there. But now we don't want to open. It's kind of Silent Hillish map. All right, let's go this way. No, wait. Was there... Check the map. There is no way to get there. Right. Okay, then let's shoot him. Shoot the bastards. Sir, please, act shot. There you go. That's how you act shot. Why is my hand shaking like I have issues? Hello there, like everyone wants to gamble. Even in undeath. Alright? So I guess we'll have to clean house. Gotta love those crits. The way they make them jump. There you go. It is so weird playing a PlayStation 2 game with the mouse. I still can't get used to it. It's there. It's in my hand, but... Man, it's PlayStation 2. <laughs> Hello, Mammoth. Yeah, Mammoth. <laughs> like yours truly. Love seeing that those crits. Come on. Come on, crit. Crit, man. Work with us. Come on, Mammoth wants to see you fly. Stick to the door. No, kitty, no! 
There you go. She pushed the keyboard uh, board, the keyboard holder. Okay, Kitty, we gotta work on that. You gotta make, you gotta work with me with on this, okay? Yeah, that's your space. You can use all that space, but no more space. <laughs> wakey, wakey, hands of snakey. Down, boy. The boy's dead. Okay, the boy's down forever. How are you, Mayo Hazard? Mayo Hazard. All right, everyone dead? No one pretending? Let me go. I guess they grew weed in the meantime because there was nothing here earlier. Oh, yeah, it was sneak mode. Hold the sneak mode button. What does it say? Is that like Killer 7? Tobu slots. Sevens. No, it's not. They're just made up slot machines. Okay. I don't know. I expected. I wouldn't be surprised. Killer 7 was Capcom 2, wasn't it? Tobu slots. All right. We don't want no Tobu slots around these parts. So let's try to get to that corridor. Of course, the casino has <clears throat> four doors. So can't go here. The game just decides you can't go somewhere because zomb zombies are groaning. These zombies that we're shooting, they're not groaning. But the other ones, they're groaning hard. Fl fly, fl <laughs> fly, please. <laughs> we got to have Wesky say that. Fly, please. <laughs> uh, I would pay money to hear that. Use the recreation room key. Okay, that's why we got the, that key. Hello, anybody? Uh, anybody taking a bullet? Storehouse. Seems to be locked. I like how he knows that's the door that's blocked. I like how he knows before even, you know, doing anything. He just approached the door. He's like, seems to be closed. No shit! <laughs> Up the stairs we go. Hello? Who's who's talking to me? Oh, they're really good at dodging. Either that or I'm really shit at aiming. Sounds like you have issues, sir. He didn't like that. Crit. Didn't drop shit. Okay. I spent my time killing you for nothing. So can I go here? Apparently yes. Yes, I can. But can I go the other way? Tell me that game. Nope. Alright. Could have just passed that one zombie. But for, you know. You can't know everything the first time you're playing. Crit. Hello, anybody inside? Sir, oh, that's the one I blew up. All right. What about here? They are. This is suspiciously outbreak engine-ish. Yeah. Okay. So what's the point? Like, well, I could have totally gone around this guy. No one would ever know. Hello. I am a detective here. I've been caught in the first five minutes of my investigation. But now I'm good. The ship's log is lying here. Ship's log. <laughs> September 20th, Friday, 2002. Yar, it will be four months tomorrow since the Spencer rain left port. Really? We're putting Spencer into this as well. Why not? <laughs> Yar, I'm proud that we have been having a safe voyage so far. A representative from Umbrella, the owner of the cruiser, spoke words of appreciation to me, yar. September 21st, Saturday, 2002. Yar, something is strange. Although the crew has reported nothing special, I am concerned that the ones may be breaking free. I will make sure to always have my Magnum pistol with me. Oh, you have a Magnum. Where do you live, sir? September 22nd. Oh, just one day before my birthday, 2002. Yar, I can't send a signal for rescue. What should I do? <laughs> what me be do? The passenger, passengers and crew are all dead now, Yar. All I can do is accept what has been happening on my ship as my destiny. Well, that's pretty dark and gloom. Just like you couldn't even live and live to my birthday, man. It's really selfish. Well, I was what? 14 years old then. 
You added the ship's log to your group. What? Captain? <gasps> Captain! No, Captain! Ah! <laughs> I don't want to... Oh, I'll have to kill, kill the Captain. I'm sorry, Captain. I don't want to kill you. But I have to. Uh, click. Uh, exit. Shoot. Sorry, Captain. No, sorry, Captain. I have to do it again. Let's try pistol him a little. Sorry, Captain. You shouldn't have attacked me. Down, boy. He good? Yeah, it's this pass from Code Veronica and uh, an Outbreak. It's a very famous shotgun. I'm glad they used it in more uh, Resident Evil games. So that was the captain. That's the that's so. Was that a, like an homage to RE1? What is this? It's illegible. Okay, I tried. Oh, hello. So what's the ammo situation? Gotta start using the shotgun a bit, or just go wild with the pistols. Both work. I am a gun survivor, not a shotgun survivor, mind you. Well, Captain had a really nice cabin here. And then uh, he drank himself to death, I guess. Where did they come from again? I came from over there. So let's go, let's visit Captain's bedroom. You know, that's a, that's a magnum. I feel like if I take it, something's gonna kill me. Yeah, it is. Well, it is a sub-series. Like, all of the Survivor games are different. The first Survivor is most like a Resident Evil game. The second Survivor is weird, to say the least. You know, the Code Veronica one. The third Survivor... I never played. That's the Dino Crisis game. And this is the first time I'm playing this one. Heroes never die, except when you shoot them with the Magnum in the face. So, Magnum. So this is what, like, Desert Eagle-ish? Magnum shells? Magnum shells, okay. For maximum damage and penetration, and we can't take any more ammo. Pistol bullets? Actually, let me see if I can reload any of the pistols. Can't, can't. 8, 18, I think. Alright. Click. Cannot carry anymore. Throw away your handgun bullets and pick up... Yes. For five bullets. Is it called the bear? <laughs> so, you can't see. You can't examine items. That's too bad. The shells are classic. The bullets look classic, but the... The magnum round. 50 caliber action express round. 50 caliber. Most magnum pistols. That's so not true. Maybe... Oh. Maybe like magnum handguns. So, what happened to the captain here? It's all... Like, what is this? What is this? Did he burn... Trying to burn himself? Was that blood? Was he bleeding on his cabin? So many questions and he's too dead to answer them. Oh well. Let's try the other one. Oh, I can actually go here. Uh, dead. Well, when you gotta react. Is that is that like a reskin of Amelia? Or what's her face? Yeah. I am fairly certain, I know I've said this several times already, but I'm fairly certain this is the Outbreak engine. Or like, because this game came out a couple of months before. Actually, fun fact, I forgot to say, but I found out when I was preparing this stream this morning, that yesterday when I streamed the first episode was exactly 20, 20th anniversary of the game's release in Japan. You know, as Biohazard, Gun Survivor 4, Heroes Never Die, because that really rolls off the tongue. So, yesterday we actually, unknowingly, had a first ever stream of Dead Aim on Dead Aim's birthday. Because we count these Japanese release dates as, you know, legit. At least I think that's what people do. So, uh, the mirror doesn't work. The toilet is pretty detailed. But that's about it. So, wait. Why was there a lady in Captain's bathroom? What was happening here before the outbreak? No, maybe we need another game to talk about that. Where am I? Okay, I've been here. 
Okay, that's the second time you scared me like that. I'm less conservative with the ammo, as you can see. At this point, I don't give a shit, son. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. There you go. Just patience. Ha! <laughs> I shoved them into each other. <laughs> uh, well, a zombie would appreciate this. So what does the map say? Can I go out? I know I tried to. Wait, this is... We've been here before, haven't we? Guest area. Yeah, we've been here. I went through the VIP... I couldn't go here because I went to the other side. That's right. That's right. I went to the VIP room. All right. Kitty, you good? We, we in peace now? You just keep pushing my mouse, but other than that, we're good. Die, boy. I see something behind you, otherwise I wouldn't... Oh, it's fucking pistol ammo, is it? Oh. There you go. Six of six. Is that it? There we go. I'm back. I was just talking about the third floor. <laughs> Here I am, back on the third floor. Control room. But nothing else, huh? Oh, it's just an alarm. I thought it was a pig screaming for some reason. I mean, I know the subtitles are wrong, but without them, oh, no. I wouldn't understand shit. Where did they come from? Alright, I guess we're shooting. Alright, it's time to spass. Die, please! Exactly. I just want to see them good. Exactly. I think when they go red, that's when they notice you. Oh, more shotgun shells. Maybe I should start using these a little, huh? 14 fit in one filling, okay. So what are we doing? What were they talking about? Hear groans of zombies coming from beyond this door. So that's your like go to. Like if you can if you don't wanna know what to do. I hear groans of zombies can do. You won't make it on time. You won't make it on time in this boat. It's only a matter of time before the ship runs aground on the island. Oh shit, we're supposed to run. Yeah, that's the iceberg says run. That's right. Alright, so uh Oh I can take another one, right? Let's check the map. The map always tells me where I need to go. When it knows. That was Wesky. Lupka, that was Wesky. <laughs> Only Wesky. <laughs> so where do you want me to go, game, huh? What am I supposed to do? Presentation room to show him a presentation. I don't think they like that. I guess I have no idea. What do they want me to do? Heliport? Let's try for the heliport. I think I saw two doors open, right? Yeah, left and right. 
The time doesn't count, so that's good. You won't make it in time in this boat. So we're jumping, we're leaving the boat. Oh, get, get off the ship, all right? Yeah, nobody said anything about that. Any files to read though before I leave? Cause you know, it would really help my investigation if I had some uh, of them evidence, all the kids are talking about, to present to my boss, you know, if we blow everything up, I'll have nothing. I'll just go, what happened? Where there were zombies and they blew up? The end. So was I supposed to fight them for two minutes? Oh shit, here we go. Oh, not her shoulder. Hello? I'm sorry I bothered you. What is your hand, what is your arm gonna do against that thing, huh? Oh, gee. Is that its brain, its spinal column? Distract them, huh? Right, it's time. Why does he talk like that? <laughs> it does look like him, right? It does look like the monster from Gaiden. Okay, I guess we're going with... Well, I'll try my best. Though. Oh, shit. Okay, better get ready for that. Okay, better get ready. I gotta dodge with the with the button, but I can't see what the button is. Oh shit, too too slow. All right, I got it this time. All right, yellow caution. I can do better. I, I might have to speed this up. He's close enough. Right. down you will release five or six yes be right back sir be right back i'm very cheap on ammo so you gotta work with me on this when he tries that i'll try to jump this time let's see if i can do it ah shit a little too slow but i can still do it it's not all over let's check if my health is orange hard to press start oh yeah it is Let's try this now. It should... No, actually. It's not worth it. Just use two herbs. He start... It keeps doing that. I'll try to... Shoot a clip, then run. Shoot a clip, then run. How many? Five or six. Yeah, go. Take the other one. Use all the bullets you can. All the low-grade bullets. It looks like the mutant for... You know what? This kind of looks to me like a remake of Gaiden or reimagining of Gaiden. Whatever you want to call it. Two minutes left, huh? Can I do it? Well, thank you for telling me he's right there, game. I did not notice that. If you hadn't told me, I don't know what I'd do. Hi. Alright, now I have another free slot. Let's try that magnum. Oh, he did not care for that. Gotta do better, gotta dodge better. He's not really fast, so you really gotta let him hit you. Oh shit, again wrong button. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm really curious as to what's gonna happen and uh, will I even live through this? There you go, I can dodge. Did I do it? Is he dead? Should I have shot him in the back? Is that the trick? All right, I did it. Nice. GG me. What now? Oh, don't fade me out. I'm not ready. I guess we did it.
What what just happened? Twitch just told me welcome to the chat room, to my own chat room. Thanks, thanks, sis. Like you good Twitch? That earthquake must have like must have hurt everything across the planet. Holy shit, I'm missing this. Did it just blow up? Yep, of course. So did we finish the game? Are we even close? Thank you. Thanks, love. Love. Just like that, we're off the boat. I guess it's not fully Gaiden. It's not Gaiden if it's if not if the whole game is not taking place on, on a ship. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if you saw. I, my Gaiden crashed at the final boss and it deleted all my saves. I thought I messed something up, but then Mammon, Mammon found out it's a common glitch in that game. Unfortunately. We ran into it. Morpheus. Morpheus, how do you... Oh, because T plus G virus equals electricity. Of course. Pfft, silly me. <laughs> that, that, I, can't, I thought about it. I think I thought about it in my sleep. How dumb is that? Like When we mixed T and G virus, the, the way the file says, Of course. Of course. We got electricity. I mean, what did you expect us to get? <laughs> oh. I'm killing my throat here, game. Am I in prison? How did this happen? First, reload. Second, reload. All right. Oh, that's not bad. I can live with that. I am a gun survivor. What does that say? Selection passage. Selection passage, I think. Yeah, we're just going to pretend that's what it says. Oh, wait, really? I'm, I'm in orange again. You know what? Herb yourself, man. Map? Yeah, okay. At least. Ground way. So there's another whole section. Alright, so that's it with the ship. I, I'm, I'm feeling a little cheated. I expected more ship. B1, okay. You wanna go, kitty? Oh, hold on, folks. Be right back. Kitty requires attention. Don't go anywhere. I'm right here. All right, she just decided it's time to go, and she was like, fuck it, I'm out. Oh. Just, there you go. Get that, do that. Don't touch the keyboard. That's like, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta remind myself every time. Don't touch the keyboard with this game. So where am I? Oh, that's the first floor. Okay, I see it now. Coming out of there, there's a store room, which I'm gonna bet is a save room. Let's go, let's check it. Uh, yep, it's a safe room with weed and everything. Let's take. Let's take two. I'm gonna use them right away. There you go. Leave some for someone else. You see a worn and battered notebook here. Operator's notebook. June 16, 1997. Alright, we're seeing something from before the Raccoon City outbreak. One month has passed since I was dispatched here. I am astounded at the sloppy supervision of this umbrella waste disposal for... What else would it be? I mean, it's a disposal uh, waste disposal facility. Um, one of umbrellas many around the world. It's not surprising this accident happened. I know that it, if I must die, I want to die as a human. June 24th, 19... Wait, they had an accident before. This game cannot be canon, can it? <clears throat> The supervisor here called Morpheus is so annoying. He drives me nuts. Oh, that's the 
Well, that's where Morpheus was fired from. He must pay more attention to worker health management and biological weapons than anyone I have ever met. Worker health management bothers you? This facility belongs to Umbrella, but he obviously doesn't think so. I have no idea how long I've been here. I don't want to stay in this facility, but I can't move. My body won't move. Oh my god, what happened here? Operator was so... How lucky or unlucky is it that we end up in the facility where Morpheus was fired from? <laughs> Only in Resident Evil. <clears throat> report of some kind. Biological report one. This is a survey report on the changes to the BOWs which have been considered failures and have been disposed of in this facility. Torpedo kids. April 7th. The unknown water creatures are increasing rapidly, primarily in drainage ditch. Since their body fluid contains strong acids, they are extremely dangerous to touch. I named them Torpedo Kids, since they swim like torpedoes. April 9th. I have learned that there is a mother that spawns all of the Torpedo Kids. If I can find this mother and kill her, I will be able to exterminate all creatures in this area. April 16th. I decided to try and exterminate the Torpedo Kids. And so I explored the drainage ditch in order to destroy their mother. However, the torpedo kids appeared to try and protect their mother and badly injured me. Now they've extended their territory to my place. And I must find a way to get rid of them. Whoa, easy there, fella. What was this? 1990? We're gonna say 1997. Morpheus was fired in 1998. Let's check those. So those are gonna be things we're gonna fight. Well, they look, the, the, the one up there looks like a spermy, like a spermy. <laughs> yeah, it looks like sperm. And the one below, well, see for yourself. I mean, that's what I see here. We can't know their height, their weight. Unknown centimeters, unknown kilograms. They're still shy about that. But that's, yeah. No comment needed. <laughs> Cruise ship groundwater but you gotta press start kind of backwards but I'll work with you game let's get out let's get out of this Silent Hill ish facility it reminds me of Silent Hill 1 uh, sewers alright so now we have left and right let's go right first I wonder where that's gonna go if it even oh look would you look at that the grain launcher and it's the chamber style. But you can only carry six types of ammo. We already have what? One, two, three, four, five, six weapons. Okay, well, actually, three weapon types. No, four pistols, shotgun, magnum, and grenade launcher. That's already four of these for one of them. This launcher fires six grenade rounds from a revolving chamber. Hmm. Everything beyond the door appears to be buried in rubble. Did you mark that on the map? I don't want to have to remember this shit. I'm counting on you, Bruce McGivern. <laughs> McGivern Mc... McTaker. <laughs> where, where the fuck am I going? Are those criminal children? What are they called? Torpedo children? Left and right. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I have two possible ways. Let's go clockwise. I don't know. That seems more reasonable. So let's go north first. Or let's go both. Why not both? I hope no torpedo children come and kill me. A fence blocks the way. Looks like a dead end. All those things imply each other but are you a zombie like if this happened two years this is 2000 right three years ago why is there anything left of that guy but no item right i didn't check that i just shot him to see if it's actually dead how about you there not gonna bite my knee or my ankle no no i guess they're all being torpedoed and that's a very bad waterway when you can't climb the, you know, the, the walkway. Walkway of the waterway. 
Another dead. That's also dead end. A dead end. <laughs> A dead end in the dead aim. Alright, sure. It's not too loud, no. So, can we even go straight, no? The rusted sluice gate is locked. You cannot go any further in this direction. Again, implied, like if the gate is locked, there's literally nothing you can do. Maybe unlock it? What if I shot this thing? Will that unlock it? No. I really hoped it would. Let's check the other corridors. I feel like there were more herbs in that sewer thingy. What about straight ahead? Oh, you can go straight ahead. Okay. But w would you want to? That's the real question. Come on. Come on, Mr. McGivern. So that one's closed, and it would just be going straight from here, huh? Oh, shit! Yeah, it was... Well, so that's... That's a G-baby. That's a G-baby and a G-mom? Still fine. Alright, we'll go back for them. Let's check the other corridor. Exploration first, killing second. So back of their heads actually mean critical damage. Front of their heads, really well armored. <laughs> They were hard-headed folks during life. That's close to where I was. What was that? Jesus Christ, did you see that? Was that a mom? No, actually, I came from over there, so... Uh... A charge! That end. Can I still dodge this? It looks like the mom. So to the right is the where where I came from. Should I shoot it? What the fuck do I even do? You know what? I, I saved recently. I'm gonna try. I have to try. Blow it up. There, that helped. At least lowered it for a bit. Is it dead? Is it done? Maybe I overdid it with the great launcher. <laughs> Maybe should have went with a with a different weapon for starters, but yeah, it's dead. That's all we care about. Another dead end. But no herbs growing in the sewers. Am I surprised? Not really. Maybe a little. It is a Resident Evil game. I do expect them to grow everywhere. I don't like these guys. They look... They look like they won't forgive me. But I need to go there. So I'm gonna do my best, huh? Should I just run past them? Oh, they die easily, okay. Shit. Double shot.
Oh, they're all alive. They're not worth it. I shouldn't have done this. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Where if we're playing all the way, we're playing all the way, are we? No bullet? Was it worth it? I don't know. Well, they're dead. And they're tough. I really hope they would leave something. Maybe we should just run past them. They're basically pale heads, I would say. How about you, sir? That one just, like, insta-critted. Yeah, that's all I needed to do. Well, okay. We got plenty of ammo. There you go. Gray launcher rounds. Five of six, huh? What does the map say? It says you probably can't go left and you probably have to go right. And before you hit the lift, you're going to have to find an item to unlock the lift. Oh shit, there they are. Try to avoid them. There you go. Fine and dandy. Looks like there's something there. Oh, it's one of those zombies. Okay. Hmm. This is a good place to use the grain launcher, really. Destroy them all. But, that's once I'm back. Oh, it's rusted shut. Okay, I guess that's what I was supposed to do. So not even an item, huh? Oh well. You made me do it! All dead. They seem very fast. Judging by that guy who's chasing after me. Oh shit. Didn't dodge it. I could have. Could have dodged it if I tried. Oh shit. Mm, orbs. Oh, cheater. Ha, can't hurt me here. I'm really curious if there's something there. One grenade is enough, huh? Oh shit, sirs! Well, I guess you you need the grenade too, huh? And all this for what? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! You're so stupid! Okay. Well, you couldn't have known. Reload everything. How's the ammo situation? Six out of six. Gotta use gotta use that one grenade round. That's what it's for, that's what I'm gonna use it for. Lift. Is that it? We're done with this section? Seriously. Not even a single puzzle. This game is not really puzzle Resident Evil, it's more like Shoot Resident Evil. I don't know why I expect puzzles. An old radio. You might be able to contact HQ with this. Don't do it yet. Don't do it yet, my boy. First, you gotta be a gun survivor. Nothing there. Alright, let's do it. Let's contact HQ. He doesn't want to do anything else. That was fast. Oh, when did it all happen? She's still fongling, huh? 
Fongling. <laughs> One word, I can't. That's not a name, it's Fongling, is it? Of course not, why would they? I can't! Oh, there she is. Oh! Oh god, what the fuck is that? Fat molded? Its brain is sewn into its skull? She reacted as I would, like, what the fuck? Alright, you gotta play with Fongling. <laughs> Fongling. No map. Screw you, Fongling, you don't get a map. She still got all her ammo that she used to have. Alright, let's switch to the silenced pistol first. Save room? No? This kind of looks where... Like where I just been with him, huh? That sound. That sewer sound, that, like that music, it's more like lock. Sector admin room, all right. Where is it from? Outbreak sewers maybe? I'll remember. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Scooby -dee -doo, -dee doo How are you doing, Mark, my boy? Right, oh, that looks like an angry zombie. Fuck that. Oh, you're not, man. You're really not. I started pretty late tonight. Been working till 7 p.m. my time. All right, so nothing there. Let's go. F let's go follow the fast bastard. Fast bastard? I meant fat bastard. There we go. Map. It was right there. All right, where are we? Don't show it to me. Passage. Okay, so I was going the right way. So this is the section where you need to do a puzzle-ish thing. I just said I was. I was uh, too dangerous to go this way. <laughs> Prison architect. Oh, nice. Just finished working. <laughs> On prisons? <laughs> I don't... I can't hear around. Look at this. Why does she look like she's about to shit her pants? <laughs> what is up with that arm flailing around? <laughs> yes, you're never leaving now. <laughs> Mark's a little tired, I can tell. Just go south, let's see what's happening south. Hello, anybody south? That's not a z terrifying zombie about to eat my face. Looks like a dead end. Oh, you're, you, you really have a keen eye there. It's a dead end in the dead aim. I can't, it's just like, every time they say it looks like a dead end. You look like a dead end game. <laughs> no, it's not that bad, really. So what about these guys? Like, the, do the pistols work? Let's try from the distance. Look, Mark, I'm playing PlayStation 2 with the mouse. Crit. Yeah. I hope none of them just came to life behind me. Well, that was too easy. <laughs> it's one of the rare games that supports oh, the mouse on the PS2. And I'm thinking all of it. It's an actually interesting concept. So you you use the controller, left side of the controller only, as WASD. Or the, the D-pad. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good when they come that close. But you aim with the mouse when you go into battle mode. I, I'm actually liking it a lot. I wish, since you can connect both the keyboard and mouse, they made it, you know... So you can use both, but 
Who am I to say anything? I didn't make my own Resident Evil yet. When I make my own, I'll make it control with whatever. Hello? No handouts, sir. Oh, Jesus Christ, they have ranged attacks now. Well, that's new. Am I poisoned? Oh, I'm fine and dandy. You can't even puke. My mother pukes better than you, and she's not. She's unable to puke. <laughs> there you go. Zombie was right. Just the top of their heads is the crit spot. Oh, I didn't silence that. I'm so sorry. Whoop. Normally I'd silence it. Facility administrator. We just recognize him by what? His gown? Electronic lock on the door. Okay, so we're getting to get this key. Go back. And then use, use it there to get another key, key to come here. I see how this is going. All of these guys are going to get up, are they? All of them. Yep. Well, one grenade is going to send them all to hell. Let's check that key before she uses it. Sector admin key. A sector admin key taken from nearby from nearby an electronically locked door. Doesn't seem useful, but let you just use it on the door. Alright. Here I go. Four out of six. Take them all. Leave some for him? Nah, take them all. Five out of six. That's that's good enough for you. It's very detailed for 2003. Look at this. Again. On the stream, the frame rate is halved because I'm converting interlaced frames, fields, into actual progressive frames. So instead of 50 frames per second, 50 fields per second, you get 25 five full frames. But the TV does a much better job of that, of that than Elgato does. So on the TV, this turning is super smooth. Well, here it looks smooth, but not as smooth. I'm going to take this. I doubt my guy will get here. She'll need that ammo later. Uh, this appears to be a panel controlling the electronic lock for this sector. Release, yes. That's the, yeah, that's where we found the key. Called it. And all the umbrella boxes there. What about just like running past them? You have no grain launcher with these girls? So just, yeah, just quick feet. They're numerous, but they're not really smart. And that's, I'm going to bet that's it with her section. We're going back to, we're going back to uh, Bruce McGivern. The main guy's name is Bruce McGivern. I can't. Her name is, her name's supposed to be Fong Ling. But for some reason here it's spelled Fong Ling. And all I hear is Fondling. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I'm not a, you know, Chinese name expert, but I'm fairly certain it should be Fong Ling. You know what? I have someone to ask. I'm gonna ask them. Oh, but we're full, are we? Or I could take this as well. Anything here to kill? Oh boy, look at that. Oh gee. Where do I need to go? B2F. Huh. <laughs> Fumbling Fonder from, from Fang Frankfurt, Florida. Fumbling Fondler from Fang Frankfurt, Florida. I can do that. Fumbling Fondler from Frankfurt, Florida. Fun <laughs> Fumbling Fondler from Frank Frankfurt. Why is that so hard, man? I've done harder. Fumbling Fondler from Frankfurt, Florida. <laughs> Zero three is three. Okay. Three is three. <laughs> Zero thirty-three. But where? There's another lift. Oh, is that the lift he took? I kind of, I, I, I have a feeling that's the, the lift he took. Bruce McGivern. But it's only B2. So she doesn't have his map. She doesn't have a grenade launcher either, so let's make the best of this. Charge! Oh, blah, 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 blah. I can take a few bites. Oh my god, I could use a great launcher with her. I could really use one. 
There's nothing left, so... Whoa! Whoa there, cowboy. Whoa! Whoa! Almost had it. Don't eat me. I'm too young to be eaten. Or she can live through worse, I'm sure. Ha! Your one weakness, the stairs. Hell, look at them. This would be really good if she had a grain launcher. And you're kind of invincible when you're doing this. When you're walking up. Uh, let's bet they're going to give her a better weapon. Otherwise, I, oh, it's rusted shut. Oh, boy. Oh, gee. Okay. They're going to puke through me. But if I just walk like this, slow, bro, and they just run, ignore everything, nobody's going to get me. Oh, it's a kind of wrong way, but... Damn, they're fast. Fast zombies. Whee! Yippee! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, bye. All right, Bruce, we need your grain launcher here, man. This is getting crazy. Look, the game can't even keep up with itself. The resolution just halves. I don't know if you can see it on the stream, but it just halves the resolution to be able to render this. I think it could be that it slows down to help the player out. Just a thought. I don't know. A thought. A plot. Bruce McGivern, where are you? Oh, no map again, huh? Going to another blind. This, this is not the floor where he was. Oh, well. Mr. McGivern. McGivern make take her. Oh, heliport. Yes, this is usually where the final boss is. Hmm. Did you just like move her away from the satellite blast? There was a satellite laser, something, right? Yep, and nothing, not even scorched shoes. <laughs> oh my god, this game is something new. They're using the hammer of dawn, huh? That's not how that works. Like you're done, you're toasted. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna cut that tattoo out of you, huh? Because she has a GPS in her arm? Does she? Or I'm just guessing that's what happened. Yep. She got a GPS chip in there. Wait, there was a Chinese satellite? China are still in danger. I'm not really clear what's happening, but just go with it. Oh, and since you saved me this time, I think I should say thanks. The subtitles are the best part of the game. I'm a Don Gua after all. So, she had that chip implanted in her, and her government used it to fry her because like why have an excellent agent when you can kill him I agree that's that's the best business decision and no map of course no map let's try this room please be a yeah a map room and a save room wow nice game wait 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 So I got multiple floors now. Where am I? Which floor am I on? 
B3. Yeah, I'm on B3. Storage room, heliport, all of this. Okay. Well, that's the problem. When you play the game, play a game for the first time, you have no, no idea what's happening. What comes next? Whew. Six out of six, huh? Everything reloaded and we got the one grenade. Only six ammo stacks. That's really not helping. Let's keep this the silencer pistol. Anything else? Yes, that's what I was afraid of. It's worth more than uh, 18 bullets, so yeah, I'll do it. So it goes six by stack of those, yeah, six and then one. We'll use that one on the first set of zombies. Any files to read? Report of some kind, yeah, I must have missed some files because I wasn't aware that they're just in the background. Biological report. Wait, what, what, what we do with the last one? I don't know. This is a survey report on the changes to the BOWs which have been considered failures and have been disposed of in this facility. Ah, oh, we're, we're introducing a new creature. Better read upon it. Read about it before you encounter it. A glimmer, which also hides its height and weight. May 18th. Today I will relocate the observation area to the underground. This area is low on power, so and so most areas are very dark. I assume creatures fond of dark places must inhabit this area. So you were aware you had creatures. Is this an umbrella employee? Were they just like, ah, pff, bioweapons, we make them, they exist, they're everywhere. May 19th. We saw red shining objects. They look like the eyes of some creature, but we have not confirmed the entity yet. It moves extremely quickly and runs away as soon as we approach. I named this creature Glimmer for its glimmering eyes. May 20th. Oh, is this, this, we're uh, nearing the day when ugly Scott came. No, Scott came ugly face, so killed him. <laughs> May 20th. In order to collect samples, I had some workers go and try to capture a Glimmer. However, the plan did not work out, and instead the target attacked them, and two people are now dead. What did he expect? Just like send them <laughs> barehanded to fight a to capture a bioweapon? Sure. May twenty second. I increased the number of workers in order to try and capture a Glimmer. This time they succeeded in shooting down one of them. According to the workers, workers, the Glimmer will open itself up just before it goes to attack. Although it's dead, I have gained valuable samples. June 1st. I have been examining the collected samples, but I don't have any idea as to how the Glimmer evolved and transformed into this figure. It seems it is a subspecies of a of hunter, really? I, however, need to research this for Oh my god, so we had already had like crazy there's something else stuck here. Crazy uh, hunters, but now... What were they called? Extreme hunters? No. Extreme. No, it wasn't extreme. It was mega hunters, super hunters. I forgot. Something hunters. Now we have glimmer hunters. Experiment alpha. Th that, you know, you exactly know. That's that. That's what, what, that, what inspired that. <laughs> well, I go with quotes always like that <laughs> and different voice. But yeah, that's what it reminds me to. And then I realized maybe I've been inspired by him. It says, <laughs> hello, bandits. I hear you have issues with these, what were they called again? With these, what's Roland's group? I forgot, man. What's Roland's group? Shit. Damn, I played it the other day and forgot. Let's call them raiders. Bloodshots, that's right. Bravo, bloodshots. No, yeah, they were Lancers and then they went crazy and became, from Crimson Lan Lancers, they became Bloodshots, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> hello, Raiders. I hear you have issues with these Bloodshots. <laughs> I would like to help you, so you gotta pay me. But then the other message is like, <laughs> hello, Bloodshots. I hear you have issues with these 
Raiders. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Bravo, Mark. Experiment, experiment alpha log. Log. Research on test subject alpha code name Pluto. Well, if it's Pluto, how the fuck is it alpha? Umbrella. September 26, 1996. We're going into the past, so this is like... 1996, that's the year when the hospital in Arclay uh, Mountains closed, right? We know that from flashback. Huh, interesting. I thought we were going to go into the future, but they're going into the past. Today we will begin the experiment. This, no, this is like moral. This is a different guy. Today we will begin the experiment. The subject is a condemned criminal called Alpha. It's a stupid name. It has been one month since the subject was transported to this facility. He is not exactly aware of what is going to happen to him. I hope you didn't tell him it would be cruel. However, he seems to be very frightened. Day one, commence experiment. We hammer the metal rod into the subject's frontal lobe in order, Jesus Christ, in order to alleviate some of the pain. This was done only for humanitarian reasons. What, really? <laughs> what did they do to him if that was humanitarian? Day four, removal of eyeballs. Oh my god, that's the that's the big guy we saw earlier. <coughs> Pardon me. We have removed the eyeballs in order to observe its reaction to external stimulation. <laughs> Joseph Mengele called. He wants his work back. <laughs> Day 14, dose of muscle booster. <laughs> After administering <laughs> the muscle boost, I can't. <laughs> it's going to kill me. We confirmed the unusual development of the muscles. It gained a drastic amount of weight before the treatment. In the future, we will consider using hampering items. Day 36. Sharpened. Sharpened hearing. An effect of the eyeball removal procedure has been a hand sense of hearing. In the loss of sight, I guess? It recognizes precisely where a sound originates and its distance from that sound. I can do that and I have both eyeballs. Jesus Christ, these experiments. Day 41, experiment suspended. I wonder why. I wonder why. Alrighty, bon appetit, my friend. The experiment has been suspended due to the fact that the subject has escaped. <laughs> Even without its vision, the subject is quite dangerous. We should use extreme care not to... Extreme care not to make sounds when we try to capture it. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Or oh, this document won the stream, so it's not it's not even it's not even Rebecca this time, it's this document. Oh. <laughs> oh thinking, yeah, I'm gonna I don't know how long I how long zombie's not here to tell me. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm gonna end it here. Just because well time's running out. To dinner and sleep and everything sorry mark he's gone to eat i don't know if he hears that so i'm just gonna save and end it here it's short stream i didn't want to miss a day or miss any of this <laughs> totally worth it but yeah that's enough for today that's enough for today let's see who we can raid despite everything something happened and that's enough do the best you can as long as it's something listen to me here dishing out <laughs> advice nobody asked for all right so henry henry 69 sexy not not towns head followed earlier I, I totally missed it. oh that was nine hours ago that explains why well henry if you're listening in the future thank you henry right well, i'm uh i'm i'm well here we go mayo hazard it's the valentine thing Val valentine it's valentine's happy valentine's i totally forgot about that so uh yeah, let's raid Mayo. That's it. Thanks again, everyone. Short stream. What can you do? Tomorrow we're going to do a normal stream. Hopefully, uh, Bruce McGivern. We got to see what happens to Bruce McGivern. We can't leave this unsolved. So, again, Lupka, sleep well. Mark, bon appetit. Everyone else, see you tomorrow. Until next time. Bye.